What's up, y'all? It's your girl Naima back with another video. Yes, yes, yes. I told y'all 2019 I'm going to be great. So instead of waiting until 2019, I might as well go ahead and jump into it now. If you are first, if this is your first time watching this video, like, subscribe, click that bell. See, that's that new shit. I'm old school YouTube. Now you gotta click bells, put notifications on, so y'all know when I get a video. Jacking up. I don't have a proper setup, so you guys gonna have to bear with your girl until I get it all together. But I'm pushing out videos just so y'all can see what's going on. But again, I'm old school YouTube, so I don't know about this bell, this notification, all this other stuff. But go ahead and click it so y'all know when I upload a video, though. Thank you guys for watching my previous video. This is going to be my first mukbang, mukbang, muk whatever. I went to the curry out and I got some wings and some crab wontons. Well, yeah, I think it's crab wontons. Crab ragoons. Y'all probably gonna be able to have to be right here. I'm gonna tell you what the issue is. I'm trying to charge my phone, so I got it plugged up behind me, and I'm trying to set it up on this thing, and it's not working. So we're gonna have to just roll it like this. So again, I have some, I have four wings from the curry out. <gasps> Yummy. And I have some crab wings that I also got from the curry out. Look like this. Oh, they look good too. I got these from a carryout called Kenny's Carryout. It was in the Woodmore Shopping Center. Y'all gonna see where I was in my previous video before this one. If this don't go first, but whatever. Okay, I'm gonna say my grace. Bless this food I'm about to receive for the nourishment of my body. May it heal me, Christ. Amen. <laughs> okay, and I got me some lamb brusco. Listen, I have been seeing this all over social media like it's supposed to be the hot shit. This wine is only 8%. I drink 10% or better. 10% and below is more of an appetizer. So, this is going to be an appetizer wine. And I also have my water. So, let me go ahead and open this up right now. No, no, I ain't got no. Okay, and it's nice and cold. Okay. It's very, very tart. Very, very, very tart. All right, let me get right into this eating. Got the wings. This is their version of mumbo sauce. And then the sweet and sour sauce for the um, rangoons or whatever. Okay, so in this video, I'm just going to basically talk to y'all about... See? The phone doing the dumb shit. I gotta get it together. I'm gonna basically talk to you guys about life in itself. So, if you guys watch my Prince Miss 2018 video, you guys can probably notice it was a less it was more, less attendees than normal. I think I vlogged 2016. I don't think I've no. I think I vlogged 2015. I missed 2016 and then I did 2017. So, looking at the last videos and even looking on my social media, if you guys follow me on the things, you gotta know this. Some people is 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 gone. Are you good? People are gone because I don't have time for the foolery. And the bullshit. So, as women, just as people in general, we go through different phases in our lives. Some people could stay around. Some people gotta go. If you want them people that gotta go, you have to reevaluate what's going on with you. Because at this point, you done pissed everybody off. This year was a form for Christmas, so we dressed up, got cute, and had a three-course dinner catered by a local chef here in the DMV. I will link his information below. Food was so bomb. Every year, we try to do a theme. Last year was Moroccan. 
So, and it was more potluck. This shit, we ain't want no stress. Let's just show up, have fun, and eat and drink. Every year, we exchange gifts. We do a secret Santa. This year, I had Shauna. Y'all know Shauna. She was so easy to shop for. So, she was easy. Tiffany had me. So, in my secret Santa, I actually had cookware. Basically, all house stuff. Because I'm still trying to get my house together. And I'm trying to still get my cook on. So, I didn't need to cook myself. We got two more pans from the Aisha Curry line. Steph Curry's wife. I bought one of her pots a couple of months ago and I fell in love with it. I was like, I want some more. So I put that on my list. Tip hooked me up. I also you um got an apron. I should have that on right now while I'm doing this video with this white shirt on. I won't mess up my goddamn shirt. This is a mumbo sauce. If it ain't dark red, you don't do it for me. These wings are good now. These wings are real good. Um. So yeah, dinner was at seven. Started a little later, which was cool, cause like I said, we ain't had enough to eat, so eating late was our best bet. I was in charge of decorating the, the, do the decor of the table, so I had a sequence runner that I had a couple of years back for New Year's Eve. And then I bought two little reindeers from Target. And I wasn't thinking, because I wanted to do a winter white thing. I wasn't thinking. I should have bought this. I wasn't thinking. I had this at home, and it's sitting right here on my dining room table. I should have bought that, too, to add to the decor. Forgot about that. But, bought some silver chargers from Target as well. Um, Y'all know I'm budget betty. I was going to take them damn chargers right back. So you name target. I'm gonna go ahead and keep them. I'm gonna already use them for something else. That was all good. Mm. So Cherise, it was at her house. Got her house every year. She lives in Waterloo. I got a fire spot. So we just go over there, spend the night, and just do girl shit. Sing, dance, eat, drink. But I will say, this year, this is the fourth year. This year was just us five. Was the most less stressful time ever. I'm not going to say every time it's stressful. It's just always something. You know how some people everybody don't get along with everybody. We got to make sure one person ain't cussing another person out. Got to make sure everybody ain't getting drunk and acting stupid. This year was a freaking br a breeze. Again, you have to reevaluate yourself. They ain't right. You gotta let them go. I'm gonna take these braces off. They probably annoying y'all. They're gonna annoy me sometimes. You gotta let them go. But this is the second year that I was turning the fuck over. I'm talking about. Don't look at me. Don't talk to me. I can't see straight. I feel sick as shit. I 
think it was them goddamn shots. Because when originally we were drinking Hennessy, champagne, and Saint Germain mixed to make a you know a cocktail. That was fine. Until Sharice ass. I like the sweet and sour sauce with the wings. I've seen some people do that on YouTube. And then mukbangs too. Um, them chips are good. Them shots, no man. No can do. So, this is also <laughs> the first year that I called Earl. Okay? I don't go back. If y'all know me, follow me. That ain't my thing. But this year, I had to get that stuff about me. So, I had to do it. I had to let it go. Like that. I found my spell. Yep. So, that was that. Now today, I'm gonna have to put some peach schnapps in that. Oh, I know. If you have any wine that you do not like the taste to, red, <coughs> excuse me, white. I haven't tried it with a blush. Add some peach schnapps to it. Taste bomb, I'm trying to tell y'all, and I keep this in the house because my girlfriends know when they come over here, wine is nasty, put some schnapps in here. Just a little bit, you know, just to give it a little, little, little flavor. Yes. Now I can enjoy my wine. Um, yeah, so today... And my oldest daughter, 17. I know. If y'all follow my channel, she getting old. I'm not getting old. She getting old. Um, I'm on Facebook mostly for family and, you know, closer friends or whatever. But if you guys follow me on Instagram, same as my YouTube. Y'all know what I did tell. This girl I know on Facebook does a podcast. She's a, a thicker girl. I don't like to say plus size. She's just thick, which I'm considered thick, I guess. She posted a post about Lane Bryant and their bra collection. I've always wanted to try Lane Bryant, Lane Bryant bras, but I wasn't going to try that bra without knowing if I'm even still wearing the proper size. So she was like, well, go to this place, um, Cherry Blossom Intimates. That size you, the best experience ever. They sell lingerie, bras, panties, shapewear, whatever you want. So I was like, okay, cool, go on the website. Oh, y'all local, local. Booked an appointment for me and my daughter to go today. She's never been properly sized, so that was a good experience for her. I haven't got sized in at least 10 years. Because I know I had to get resized once I had my second daughter. Because, you know, I got the mommy boobs. So, I was like, I know I'm still ain't wearing no B cup. So, that's when I went into the 36 double D. But it's like lately, maybe within the last two years, when I put on my bras, like the straps always, like now, the straps always end up being too loose. I'm spilling out on the side. Um, Because I like more of a full cut, full coverage bra. So it was like, it wasn't full no, <laughs> no more. It was like spilling out. So I said, let me go in here and um, make an appointment, blah, blah, blah. So needless to say, 
The experience was amazing. If you guys can get over there, try to check it out. Again, it's in the Woodmore Shopping Center with the Wegmans and the Costco is. If you're familiar with the DMV area, it's in Landover, Maryland. Um, it's black owned by two women. One is an actual doctor. She hooked up with a um a specialist in, you know, lingerie and stuff like that. They linked up and opened up a business. Listen, it is gorgeous in it. If you guys go to my last video and y'all can check out the vlog and see the goods, it's gorgeous. My daughter enjoyed it. I enjoyed it as well. So I purchased the bra and I let her pick out the one she wanted. Total was $99. You know, support black business. I'm here for that. So, we did that today. I don't have no plans for New Year's. Stay in my black ass right in this house because I just, just don't have no plans. No, this chicken a bomb. All curry out chicken don't be good. I'm gonna start going a restaurant style curry out. For the ones around here, it's like, mm hmm. The chicken don't be good every time. It be like hit or miss. I just should have got some more. I ain't got four in. I promise y'all, when I come back with another video, the setup is going to be more proper. I'm going to have to give me a tripod. Right from Amazon. You think I ain't? I need everything from Amazon. But yeah. I don't have nothing else going on today. Tori's with one of her friends to tomorrow. Tori's able to get rid of one of her friends. My boo at work. So it's just gonna be me and this wine for right now. Um, I don't know what I was talking about. How was everybody Christmas? I don't know about y'all, but I don't really get much for Christmas. It's like the older you get, the less shit you get. Same thing with the kids. The older they get, the more expensive things they want. So, they get skimpier and skimpier. Because y'all items cost too goddamn much. But yeah. I'm also going to snap that. Same as my YouTube. On my Instagram. Yeah, I will say. I don't have no New Year's resolutions. But. I did want to. Not even say work out. Not even say lose weight. Just change my eating habits. And in the midst of me changing my eating habits. If I lose some weight. During the process. I'm here for that. But I'm not going to say, oh, I got a goal of losing 50 pounds before March. That's not realistic because I'm not a gym person. I don't like the gym. I just don't go to the gym. So I know for me, if I cut back on alcohol, sweets, I tend to just lose naturally. So I'm going to try to take that route January the 1st. Ooh, excuse me. So this may be my first and last unhealthy eating mukbang. I tried to do meal prep last week. I have to, in my mind, not think of what I'm eating as to, uh, I'm eating the same thing. Uh, I have to think of it more as... Oh, this is healthy, girl. Eat this. You're going to get skinny. You know? But other than that, I ain't trying to do that at all.
I never could have did this on a live. Just get a Phillips. Who's still watching me? You know? Um, prayers up to those who have been affected by the federal government shutdown. I'm being one of those people. I have been in the government for 18 years, and this is my third shutdown. The prior two, it was more, of, oh, okay, we know we're going to get our money back. But this go around, it seems a little shady. But if the more shady it is, is that it's during the holidays. And remind you, my kids' birthdays are coming up. Torrance's birthday is January the 6th. Tori's birthday is January the 16th. A whole mess, I know. But I'm not going to let that shit stress me out. Because I got my health. I got a roof over my head. My kids are healthy. Uh, we just might not have no money. <laughs> For the most part. But yes, I can do this with the peach naps. I can't drink that without the peach naps. So if this is 8% alcohol, this wine, if you put a little bit of peach naps in there, that'll take it up to 10%. You know, that's my logic of it all. Um, yeah. I'm full. I had two wings and three wontons. So, yeah. I'm going to go back into this friendship thing. So, like I said earlier in the video, a couple of females, which is a good amount, did not make it to Friendsmas this year. It's courses and things that you go through in the year that leads up to Friendsmas. So, I feel as though if you ain't riding or dying, if you ain't sticking through it, if you ain't fighting for it, what is the purpose of celebrating it? And Christmas is a celebration of the year, of all of the things we have done, all the trials and tribulations, all the good times, all the bad, and we made it. Sis, we made it to the end. If you ain't fighting this fight, you don't deserve to come to Christmas. So that's how I feel about the ones who are not present. And in the midst of that, I feel like if you know something is wrong you should speak up on it to figure out what it is that's wrong and what can we do to fix it a lot of people don't never want to speak on anything they just want to just let it go and let it ride or let it um uh marinate for a little bit hopefully things will blow over no boo it's not gonna blow over unless you address the issues and address what's going on um I do admit I'm very lenient towards some, not even some, because I have my own relationships with each individual person in itself. So everybody comes together as a, in a group. I got a lot of time and invested in a couple of the ladies, which I will fight for that shit because we have more than just a friendship. It's a sisterhood. It's a it's family, you know what I mean? Our kids are connected, so it's more of like, oh no, I just can't say fuck you. We got to think about all this. We got to work it out. So, I will put more fight into some than I do others. But in the meantime, we also have a connection too. So, if you feel that something is wrong, speak up. So, when I speak up, it's a problem. And that ain't right. So, in 2019, I'm not going to take none of the drama from 2018 into 2019. we just going to live our life like it's a golden life. For sure. Stay tuned for more videos. I want to do another first impressions um adult beverage video i'm gonna try to move this just to see how it look see i still got it plugged up so it's gonna turn it's gonna turn i want to do a um let me see 
y'all gonna be like, girl, let me just unplug this charger for a minute. Let me just, let me just do that. I want to do a first impressions adult beverage video. Um, I've done one before in the past. It got so many likes and views. I got to bring that shit back. So I have to think of, if you guys know any beverages y'all want me to try, and you know, liquor, coffee, teas, juices, anything you guys want me to try, let me know in the comments and then I will go out and buy this shit and try it. Um, I have also have a couple of concoctions I want you guys to try as well. You gotta be 21 and older. You gotta be able to drink and drink responsibly. Also, I'm going to make these pudding jello cups. It's not even jello cup. It's pudding. It's pudding shot cups. Shot pudding cups. It's pudding with liqueur in it, and it's in little cups. So I want to make those for you guys. So stay tuned for that. I have never made them before, so I'm going to go ahead and attempt to try them, and then I will record it. But um, <laughs> other than that, shit, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, I promised myself I was going to give you guys more content in 2019, and that's what I plan to do. So, just let me know what you guys want to hear. I see that mukbangs are a thing now. I don't know if I could do those, y'all, if I'm trying to get skinny. Maybe I could do wine down or wine talk or shit. I don't know. Y'all love seeing the people eat, smack, chew, and burp. AMSR and noises and shit. Whatever y'all like, I'm here for it. But yeah. So this is a cheers to new year, new beginnings, new journeys, new friendships, new businesses, new relationships, goals, whatever you plan to do in 2019. Thank you guys for watching this video. Rate, comment, and subscribe. And share it with your friends. Let them know your girl is back. I am back. I promise I am back. And shout out to Miss Fancy. Hey, girl, hey. She inspired me to get back into it because she be busting out them vlog videos. She got whole videos. She got everything. She do a lot of mukbangs. She do the seafood boils. All that shit. Shout out to you, boo. I'm here. I'm back. And let's do it in 2019. All right, guys. Talk to you later. Bye.